Those were some dark, cold, ugly days. COVID-19 was spreading. We were hunkered inside of our houses, scared. People were dying. Some folks were looking out for each other, but it didn't seem like nobody was looking out for me. I couldn't hear from nobody. And Grandchildren are too busy looking out after their children. And my heart was heavy. So I had to go to what I knew how to do. I opened up my Bible and there was a scripture there. Psalms, somewhere around 61. It said, when your heart was heavy, look to the rock that's higher than him. Higher than me. So I began to rock and hum. Because that's what I had seen old folks do when I was growing up. So now that I'm old, I figured I should be rocking and humming because I had a lot of sorrow in my heart. And it didn't take long before my device rang. <laughs> we used to call them telephones. It's a computer, but I know that. But the phone rang, and there on the other end of the line was my godson, so much. Hey, March, how you doing? I said. He said, "Oh, Auntie, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time. You know, there's some hard times we're in. I'm, uh, the money's down, and the needs are up, and my kids ain't talking to me right, and my wife has got her head down, and I'm just kind of up against it." I said, "Honey, me too." Your kids ain't talking to you. My grandkids ain't talking to me. Don't nobody know what's going on. I said, listen, why'd you call me today at this time? Because I got something on my mind. He said, well, auntie, I just need to talk to you. I just need to talk to somebody that I thought had some good sense. I said, honey, I ain't got no good sense. What I do have is a big need and I think you might be able to supply it. You make music, don't you? He said, oh yeah, I love to make music. I said, well, you know what? I don't make no music, but I make lots of words. And I'm trying to get these young people to listen to my words. But I think they might would listen if we added up some of your music in it. See, I got something to say. And you got that bouncy music. You like that reggae gospel music and all that music with that good boom, 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 right? He said, yeah, I like that kind of music. I said, March, what do you think would happen if we put some of my words together with your music? Because, you know, I'm a person that's got a good heart on most days. And I can use to keep my spirits up. But today I'm having a rough time. And so I'm thinking... If I just start doing a little praising, you know, thank you, Lord. You've been so good to me. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. You know, you, you know they don't want me to say. But, uh, but, but the words, you know, gratitude and uh, uh, how you brought me through and how you've taken me over so many dangers and toils and snares, and we in plenty dangers, in plenty snow toils, and in plenty snares. I think if we could get your bouncy music and some of my words together, that we might just be able to have something going on. Do you want to give it a try? He said, Auntie, that's a good idea, and I think my kids might enjoy that. So don't you know, we use those devices, you know, it used to be telephones. We used them. We put some of my work together. There was a lot of songs in there, but most of it was about my gratitude for just being alive. Just being able to wake up and do what I need to do and say hello to somebody and give them a hand up. And there was a few scriptures in there. He put his bouncy music to it. 
And don't you know those children like them? His children, he got six of them, you know. He put it out there so they could listen to it. Well, their feet got to tapping, and their hands got to clapping. And then pretty soon, they started wondering about the words that we were saying. So we started us a little Bible study. And they enjoyed it because we played the music and we had the bouncy words. And and don't you know they went on that Zoom thing? And they started inviting their friends. And they even did something called WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. They had Zoom, they had WhatsApp. And then pretty soon, I pushed a button and I heard our song and words on the, what was it, Instagram? Or Facebook or Twitter, one of them. Well, I'm gonna tell you that thing got to going and those children started coming on the WhatsApp and the Zoom and the Twitter and we started having Bible study and don't you know they would call me up on the telephone, honey. I could text, but they would call me up on the telephone and want to talk to Auntie. Oh, we had some good conversations. We talked about everything. And yeah, they was having some rough times because they couldn't go to school. But I even helped them with that because they're so talented, don't you know? Oh, we got them to draw in and writing poetry and writing poems and, or I said they had poems, writing plays. They wrote plays and we did them together on the Zoom and the WhatsApp. You know, it's turned out to be a good thing and it's still going, it's still going. And you know, they call me every day just to see how I'm doing. Say, A.T., we love you because you listen to us. Well, don't you know that's what I was trying to do all along? But they weren't talking. But now they're talking. And I'm listening. And they're listening. And I'm talking. And it's a good thing. Because I learn from them. And they learn. Whatever little bit of wisdom I might have. But I'm sure willing to pull it out because it ain't doing me no good to myself. And they feel so good about being able to share something with me. So when I look to the mountain that had the rock that was higher than I, my heart wasn't as heavy any longer. And actually right now, even with everything that's going on, my heart is still light because I did look to the rock was higher than I and reached out beyond my own little pity party. <laughs> oh, pity party is a city with one citizen. <laughs> but I'm done with it. And I hope you're not having a pity party too. Bless you. Look to the rock that's higher than you are. And your heart will be light. I said so, and it's true. <laughs> I stepped on the nail and the nail bent, and that's the way the story went. <laughs>